Hey guys, it's me Jess and I'm back again with another um video. And um I know it's been a while since I posted anything. I haven't posted a video in a while. Um but I am going to be restarting my weight loss journey. Um, and health journey just overall so I wanted to start sharing it on my channel and I really want my channel to just go back to what it was where I'm just focusing on just me like just sharing health updates maybe stuff about natural hair couponing I want to get back to that the only reason I haven't really posted any couponing videos lately because I haven't really been couponing lately but I'm going back to focusing on that stuff I really want my channel to stay on like a positive and no I don't really you know sometimes we fall especially on YouTube sometimes we fall in a trap with like negativity and stuff. I don't need to go into any details. If you've been watching, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going in that direction anymore. I've already deleted some certain videos. Um, so I'm done with that. So now I'm just focusing more on just positive energy and things like that. So, um, I, you guys know I've had my channel for quite some time and I have done, um, help, you know, weight loss videos and stuff like that. Just, you know, in hauls. So I want to get back to that too, but, um, I'm not going to lie to you. I did, I have gained weight over really ever since quarantine. I have gained weight the, the first quarantine, which was like almost two years ago. I have gained weight that I'm still trying to get off, but I'm finally getting somewhere. Um, and I'm realizing now that I'm getting older, especially now that I'm 40, I need to really be more disciplined because as women, as you get older, your metabolism does start to slow down. So I have to be more cognizant of the, cognizant of the things that I'm eating and really make more of a, um, a effort to be active. Not that that was really ever an issue because I do like to work out, but just being more consistent. So I'm going to just talk to you about some of the things I've been doing. So I actually have been making progress. Okay. So I'm trying to give myself some realistic goals. Um, a couple months ago, I had gotten up to like 241 pounds. I'm not going to lie to you. And so, but I, I really wasn't being consistent with, you know, just making sure, even though I do eat healthy, but the thing about it is that I think portion control and calorie counting is like really important because even if you think you're eating healthy, if you're eating too much of that healthy thing, then that's too much calories. Or if you're eating healthy, but then let's say you messed up by eating a bag of chips, even if it's healthy chips, you know, that can just throw you off, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're drinking your calories, right? Like, let's say you're, well, I don't drink soda anyway, but let's say you're drinking a lot of juice and lemonade and sweet tea, or, you know, you're drinking too much coffee, drink Starbucks coffees, or, um, what's another bad thing to drink? Um, just things like that, like sugary drinks and stuff like that, then um, that can like really mess you up too. So I, I mean, even though I've been down this road many times before, but I am really like, okay, I need to really be on the ball now. So, um, uh, so what I've been doing, um, like I said, really for me, I need to get out the 200s club, even though some people say I don't look like it because I'm tall, but I mean, my height has been saving me for a while. So, but like I said, a couple months ago, I was like, I want to say back in October it was, um, cause I was looking at my fitness pal cause I have been tracking my weight and stuff. I was 241 pounds. So now it's January. I think today is January 9th. Um, is it? No, no. Today is January 10th. I'm sorry. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I was 231 pounds. So I've lost like six pounds, like within the past two weeks. And I've been working really hard. I just want to share y'all what I've been doing. And I'm going to show you my haul that I just did my, all these grocery haul that I just did. But anyway, so the first thing I did is I'm back on my fitness pal and I've been using my fitness pal since 2014. And it's really cool to go back and look and see like, where did the weight start going up? Cause I realized I had went back in there and I noticed like the first three years I was on my fitness pal, I kind of kept my weight like in the early 200s. And then by the time like late 2017 came around, it just started going up and up until the point where I got into 241. I'm like, wow, that is not good. Um, for me, my goal is I would love to get down. I want to get out of the 200s. Even if I get down to 199, I'll be very happy. Um, I want to at least get down to maybe 195, 190. I wouldn't even mind getting down to 180. I mean, I haven't been to 180 in a long time, but if I could even get down to the 190s for me and somebody my height, that would be great. So, but, um, but anyway, I have been losing weight. Um, so what I've been doing is when, um, over the Christmas, um, holidays, I decided to, we, I didn't even cook. We didn't even really cook anything major for Christmas. We didn't do a big Christmas dinner like what we did for Thanksgiving. But anyways, um, so what I did, um, 
I, over the holidays, I was like, you know what? I got to stop this once and for all. So I decided to start a regimen. The first thing I did was go back on my fitness pal. And I have been logging in everything that I've been eating. Because what I've been noticing is that with my fitness pal, my fitness pal will help you lose weight. But you have to be honest with yourself. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. There were times where I would eat something. And because I know it was bad, I wouldn't log it in. But you're kind of lying to yourself because you still ate it. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, for the past couple of weeks, I have been, so I, I, yeah, yeah, since like mid December, I have been on my fitness pal logging every single thing I eat faithfully. Okay. That's number one. Number two, workout. Now I do like to work out, but I'm not going to, I love working out actually, but I started to notice that as I've been getting older, I really don't like going to the gym like that anymore. It's just be too much going on. And it's, it's, it just seems like such a to-do. I got to get up. I got to get in my car. I got to go change. I got to do this and do that. And so, um, so a lot of times I, I wasn't really going to gym like I, I needed to. And, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I get out for work, the last thing I want to do is go run to the gym. And then I have my son with me. So that means I would have to drop him off because, you know, he's outgrown the daycare. So I've had to, I would have to go home, drop him off, change, come back. And I know me, it's not going to happen. Because when I get off work, I'm tired. I just want to go home and rest and chill or do whatever other stuff I have to work on. But I am an early bird, always have been. So I was like, okay, I need to start working out really early in the morning. Now going to the gym super early in the morning, especially the gym that I go to, that really wasn't going to be realistic. So I was like, you know what? Let me start working out at home. And a workout that I've always enjoyed doing probably since my, cause my older son is 19 and this workout I, I started doing, when he was little when I didn't have a babysitter and it was just me and him in the apartment and I had, I want to like lose some weight. I would do Tybo and I love, love Tybo. So that is my regimen. And on, if you go on YouTube, he has his own channel on YouTube and there are like so many um, videos. Cause you know, he has tons of videos and they're all free. I mean, I actually have some Tybo DVDs from over the years, but I don't even have any DVD players hooked up. And it's a lot easier for me to just go on my phone and just like project it onto my TV. So I've been doing Tybo faithfully every morning. This past weekend was the first weekend that I hadn't done any work. I, got, I was doing a whole bunch of other stuff, but I really didn't eat much over the weekend. I, I ate very little this weekend, but besides this weekend, I've been doing Tybo every single morning. And I've been counting my calories on my fitness pal. For me, my calorie count um, is supposed to be like 1,500. I really could do more. I really could do more because it said I put lightly active even though I am active. But I just did that just to kind of like, you know, force myself to make sure I stay under 1,500. So, but really for me, as long as I'm between 15 to 1,800 calories a day, I can get to where I need to be because I went on another website and found that out. But anyways, so I've been using my fitness pal, sticking to the 18, you know, be, eating between 15 to 1800. Lately, I've been actually eating under 1500 calories every day and drinking a lot of water. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not really in, I like water, but I'm not really always in love with plain water. So one of the things I like to do, I like to squeeze fresh lime or fresh lemon in my water. And when I do that, I literally will guzzle down the water. So I've been drinking like half a gallon of water a day at least sometimes more and I've been drinking a lot of tea hot tea not sweet tea hot tea um you know with my kettle and all that and um I'll put like one tablespoon of organic raw honey and that's it so um the last I had weighed myself the last time I had weighed myself was December 23rd which was the day before um, Christmas Eve and I was 237 pounds. And ever since then, like I said, I've been doing Tybo every single day, logging it all my food on my fitness pal. And I really don't like to get hooked on the scale, but I was like, you know what? Just go on the scale this morning when you wake up and see, you know, what progress you've made. So when I went on the scale this morning, it said 231. So I was like, wow, very, I'm so happy. So <laughs> I lost six pounds. So um, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. And like I said, my goal is to get out of the 200. So if you're in my situation, you know, like we could do it together, leave comments. Um, I'll, I'm going to leave my fitness and I really want some more friends on my fitness pal to be honest because the friends I have on there everybody's inactive nobody's doing anything so I'm like logging in every day like in my own post so if you are on my fitness pal please friend me on there I'm gonna leave my um my my name on there is jangel1226 I believe but I'm gonna put it in the um in in the in the um 
in the description and we can like follow each other on my fitness pal because i think it would really be really supportive so that's what i'm gonna be doing but yeah i've been doing tybo and actually today i really did good i did like 45 minutes of tybo this morning like because i wake up really early because i i'm an early bird anyway so i wake up really early in the morning um because I'm, I'm actually working out from home for the, for this week so i woke up really early this morning i did 45 minutes tie boy advance and then we get an hour lunch and during my lunch break i did another tie boy i did another 30 minute tie boy so i've burnt like 1270 calories today just in exercise alone and i've only ate about 800 calories so but anyways let me show y'all what from um Aldi's um everything is still in the bag so I'm just gonna go through I didn't want to set everything up because these things are going to be going in the fridge so I just want to show y'all what I got and I'm going to tell you guys like what I'm going to be doing with some of these items <clears throat> okay so I got some um organic chopped skipped kale um which I do like kale I haven't made kale in a while but I made some salt fish um yesterday and I'm going to eat that with some plantains and I wanted to um make some greens with it so i'm going to make this kale and i'm going to do it really simple all i'm going to do is just put, pour some put some olive oil in the pan um crush some garlic and put cook the the um saute the kale and the garlic and all i'm gonna do is season it with some pink himalayan sea salt and that's it okay and maybe some fresh ground black pepper okay so here i have these green peppers um the reason i bought these is because sometimes like if i'm like just eating some um fish or whatever i might slice some of these up and saute it and eat it with the fish because that that see that's the only um meat i eat basically you know if you want to consider the meat is fish seafood so and also i do like making veggie sandwiches so i was gonna like grill some of these and then eat it with like zucchini and um mushrooms on a sandwich so all right so i got some zucchini all right, these were 95 cents a pound, that's why I got two. Um, the reason, the way I'm going to make my zucchini, I'm going to slice them and do the same thing, saute them in some olive oil with some pink salt and some garlic and onion powder, and I'm going to eat it with fish. I'm also, good, I'm also planning on making some veggie sandwiches this week, and I'm going to be using the zucchini as well. And I just want to let y'all know, I have actually changed the vegetables that I'm eating. I just wanted to share a quick note, even though most vegetables are good for you but you have some vegetables that do cause a lot of issues um let me show you the, the other vegetable the last vegetable i got this is some baby spinach which i'll be using for juicing because i do make smoothies every day and then i got the organic baby spinach and arugula which i'm gonna be using for salads this week um the reason i got i really were aiming for these type of vegetables is because um, you have some vegetables that cause a lot of bloating and discomfort. And, you know, as I'm getting older, I really be paying attention to how certain foods make me feel. I don't care how much I like something or how, or even if it is healthy, if it doesn't make me feel good physically, I'm going to stop eating it. Now, and what really forced me to do this is that I had a really bad experience with Brussels sprouts recently. I've been liking Brussels sprouts since I was a kid. I don't, I really didn't eat them, haven't, I really don't eat them all the time, but I've been noticing lately I've been eating them more. And I had made some, I, the other day I had made a really nice dinner. I made some roasted sweet potatoes, which were amazing. I might go, I want to go back to doing videos where I'm like cooking. So I want to show you guys how I made those sweet potatoes, but they were so delicious. And I made sweet potatoes with some baked fish. I put those in the air fryer and I did some sauteed, um, Brussels sprouts and zucchini. I noticed after I ate dinner and that was a really light, healthy dinner. And after I ate, my stomach was just killing me the whole night. My stomach was killing me. I, I was feeling really bloated and everything. And then the next day I meal prepped everything. Cause that's what I've been doing. That's also something that also has been helping me to keep my, to lose the weight guys is meal prepping. That way you always have your dinner ready to go. So, but anyways, the next day I had the same dinner and I was feeling the same way again. So I was just like, okay, What's going on here? So I decided to do my research and I went online to look up what vegetables cause um, bloating and discomfort. And guess what was on the list? First one on the list, Brussels sprouts. I'm like, wow, that's what it is. So Brussels sprouts was on the list. They said it causes a lot of discomfort, bloating, gas, and a lot. It's it, They say it's very uncomfortable. Um, so I was like, that's what it was. Because the very next day when I did my next um, meal prep, 
I discarded the Brussels sprout, took the Brussels sprout out of my bowl, just ate the fish, the sweet potatoes, and the zucchini, and guess what? I felt great. I had no problems. So I was like, okay, guess what? I will not be buying Brussels sprouts anymore. Do I like it? Yeah, I like Brussels sprouts, but I don't want to feel sick after eating it. So Brussels sprouts, I will no longer be eating. Um, another vegetable that was on the list that causes a lot of discomfort and bloating was asparagus, which that is a fact. I like asparagus, but asparagus causes a lot of issues. Plus asparagus makes your urine stink. You go eat the next time you eat asparagus, see what happens when you go to the bathroom. It'll make your urine smell. It really does. And I read about that. Um, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, those were all vegetables on the list that they say cause bloating and discomfort because it has some kind of sugar in it that doesn't digest well and it just causes too much problems. So I will not be eating those anymore. Now they said onion and garlic was on the list, which is kind of crazy because everyone loves onion and garlic, but they did say with onion and garlic, if you cook it, then you shouldn't have any issues. But if you eat the onion and garlic raw, then yes, you will. But if you cook it, then, you know, it, you're going to have a problem. So I just want to share out with y'all. That why I'm only so the vegetable that I'm only sticking with certain vegetables. So when I went online, they said the vegetables that were safe as far as that weren't gonna make you feel any type of way, not gonna cause any bloating or discomfort, was spinach, diff any greens, kale, spinach, collards, mustard greens, those are all fine. You shouldn't feel no problems after that. Zucchini, um, peppers. That's why I went and got the, the zucchini and the bell peppers. Um, they also said which else was good? Um oh yeah, it was yeah, greens, zucchini, bell peppers, oh, green beans, like string beans or whatever. Those were on the list as well as far as like vegetables that you should feel fine after eating it. So um, so those are the vegetables I'm sticking with. So, right, so let's finish up this haul. We're almost done. Um, now, I am not eating this. <clears throat> I bought this for my younger son because this is just a quick dinner. He likes macaroni and cheese. I'm not eating this, but he's going to want to eat that So um, for dinner. I have my own dinner I'm going to make, but he wants macaroni and cheese with baked fish and broccoli. So I said I would get that. All right, so I got these meat-free um, chicken tenders. Um, I could eat these, but I'm not going to. My son likes these, so this is really for him. So, in, you know, this is something quick that he can make. He could just put it in the um, toaster oven. Yeah, so these are vegan, so he's going to eat that. Oh, I'm not vegan anymore, but I do I still like to eat vegan foods? Yes, but uh, I'm more on the pescatarian side now. All right, so I got a bag of shrimp um, so that I'm just going to like saute these or I might put them in the air fryer. Just, you know, season them up with some olive oil, some different seasonings or whatever, and put them in the air fryer. I might saute them on the stove and eat them with some sweet potatoes. Um, I bought these sweet potatoes yesterday. So I'm actually falling in love with sweet potatoes again. I used to eat sweet potatoes all the time and I stopped. I don't know why, but i'm back on it but yeah i'm i'm there these come out these are so good in the air fryer y'all so um the next time i make them which will be this week i'm gonna do a video so i can show y'all how i make it so but yeah i bought the shrimp because i'm gonna just i probably will just make the sweet potatoes and the shrimp and put it in the air fryer and then maybe eat it with some kale or really probably the zucchini more than anything so all right so i got some olive oil um that i like to use so like i use olive oil for salads and to cook <laughs> Um, one of my favorite fruits, got some grapes, they were on sale, and these are really good. I like my grapes, um, crispy, I don't like soggy grapes. I actually bought some green grapes yesterday, so now I have both. Alright, so I got mushrooms. The reason I got mushrooms is because I'm planning on making veggie sandwiches this week, and I like to use mushrooms in them. I'll do, like, like I said, mushrooms, zucchini, and bell pepper with the, um, sourdough bread is really good and it's healthy. All right, I love eating salads, so I got some um, Roma tomatoes, and I also like to make like egg, you know, like make eggs in the morning sometimes, and I will eat tomatoes, like I'll cook the tomatoes with the eggs, so got that. All right, I got um, some sharp cheddar cheese slices, because I do like to make egg sandwiches, and the egg sandwiches I make are only like 300 calories, and this is the cheese I use on it, and sometimes I only use half, they're like 80 calories for one, and sometimes I might just use half of it, the reason that I've got sharp cheddar is because I am lactose intolerant, so I really don't do dairy like that, like I only drink like almond milk and cow's milk, but I do like cheese, um, so I went online and found out which cheeses are the lowest in lactose, and cheddar was one of them, and also feta, because I know I love I love to put feta cheese on my salad. And when I put feta cheese on my salad, I never have any problems. So, and they said that sharp cheddar cheese, basically the harder the aged cheese it is, the better, the lower the lactose is. So this 
if you are lactose intolerant but you still want to sneak some cheese in every now and then get the sharp cheddar and you'll be fine all right so um i like to use um oil spray so i got the olive oil spray which i like um oh i was supposed to go over the prices y'all i'm sorry um and this is all at holly so you know all these is pretty cheap um the spinach and the arugula these were 239 i think this was like two dollars and change the zucchini was like 75 cents a pound and they're only like a pound and a half or so so pay like maybe a dollar fifty for each one the organic kale was $2.99. The cheese, this was $1.45. The green peppers were $1.99. Um, the mushrooms were $1.57. The bag of jumbo shrimp was $5.55. Um, I got this salmon. I love canned salmon because I like to make some like healthy salmon cakes that I will eat with like grits and spinach or I might just eat with a salad. So this is $2.89 and this is really good. And it's just really easy to make. Um, the Roma tomatoes were like 95 cents a pound, so this is like a little over a pound, so this is like a dollar and change. Alright, I like to make tuna sandwiches, so I got some um, solid white tuna. These were like a dollar or nine a piece. I only bought two because I think I have two in the closet, but I just wanted to make sure I had some. So, And it looks like we have a little food shortage going on because I, I mean... It, there, I had to go to different stores just to find some of the vegetables I wanted. So, all right. Um, I got this black pepper. It's not that I need a black pepper, but I have bought a black pepper grinder that is not working. So this was only a dollar twenty nine. So I said, you know, I'm just gonna get this because I do like fresh ground black pepper. And last but not least, I got this refined coconut oil, organic coconut oil. This was only two ninety nine, y'all okay so that's why i went and got it and i i do whip my own shea butter so i might use some of this in there and put it in my hair so um and this is really the last but not least this is not oh i forgot onion powder this is a dollar 49 okay um this was not food <laughs> these are lip glosses um lip balms i'm sorry but the reason i got it i have like what six of them the only reason I got it because it said two twenty nine, which I thought wasn't a bad deal anyway. But then by the time she rang it up, it said fifty seven cents. I'm like, wow, fifty seven cents for like for a lip balm. So I figured these would even be good gifts. But yeah, that's the only reason I, I stocked them and bought a few of them. So, all right, so guys, so that was the haul. So everything here got me to like fifty dollars, which I really didn't think was bad, considering that I got some really good stuff and. You got to admit, a lot of the stuff I got would have been expensive in other places, like the olive oil alone. Like, if you go to Kroger or Publix, olive oil could, this, a, a bottle like this size might cost you like five or six bucks. And it was like $2.49 at Aldi. So, all right, anyway, so guys, so that is it for all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing more videos like this. Um, and I will be doing updates. So, I told y'all I was 231 pounds today, so I'm going to be weighing out. I really don't want to weigh myself that much. I was going to weigh myself this weekend, but I'm not sure. I really feel like I should do it every two weeks because, you know, the scale, you know, sometimes the scale can fluctuate, but I feel like because I have been doing the right thing that I, you know, I, cause I want to just, cause the good thing with weighing yourself often is that it makes you accountable and you can kind of stay on top of things. So even if you like, wow, I gained a pound one week, at least you can be like, okay, let me get back on the track. Let me be even like get tougher on myself the following week, as opposed to letting time pass because you might feel good off of that last weigh-in and you might start getting comfortable eating things that you're not supposed to eat or whatever the case may be. But anyway, guys, um, this is it for the video. Um, please like, subscribe, leave comments. If you want to see more of these type of videos, then let me know. I'm not really good at editing, but my younger son is. So I was thinking about like letting him help me kind of revamp my channel and just like make better videos as far as like... Um, you know, editing and stuff like that. That way I can really do those cooking videos and show y'all what I'll be doing in the kitchen. So, all right, guys. Well, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.